So me and mom uh, escaped to Walt Disney World for the day because we have one goal in mind. There's a new ride here, it's the Tron ride, and we're gonna try to get on it for the very first time. It's actually not even open yet. We're gonna try to get some early access. We cannot wait. Okay, we made it in the park, and the way we're gonna get on Tron is called a virtual queue. If you don't know what a virtual queue is, basically there are two times, it comes out at seven and it comes out at one. You have to be on the app and click for a spot on the ride. So we totally missed the seven one, so we're gonna try- well, we tried the seven one, it did not work. Right. <laughs> we weren't fast enough, Yeah. unfortunately. So, uh, but yeah, these things go in seconds. So at one o'clock, we're gonna get on and tap as fast as we can, we're gonna get on that ride. But in the meantime, we're gonna eat, ride the train, enjoy Disney World. We are now in Tomorrowland on our way toward Tron. Even though we don't have tickets to ride it yet or a reservation to ride it yet, we're going to walk over and take a look and see at the new area. And there's Space Mountain over there. And that looks like the Tron area. Okay, that looks pretty fun. <laughs> All right, guys, we're making our way right now into the Tron ride, and we understand that there is a new, well, we don't have tickets again, but we understand that there's a new walkway behind it, so we're gonna take that walkway behind it to the uh, train. But this is what the virtual queue line looks like. So hopefully later today, we'll be entering that virtual queue and riding Tron. And there were so many times when Ryan and Katie and I and Brennan and Dad, well, not really Dad, but <laughs> we're in the line over there at Goofy's Barn Storm and we would watch this get made all the way through COVID, yeah. right? We would watch this be built and finally it's open. It was fun to watch the evolution. Totally. So now to be here, we're like, what's that? What's that? We didn't know. And now that they closed the train down because they had to build new track through the ride. So we're, um, the train's finally open. So let's go ride the train and I'll wait for the water park for some of you. Yep, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. All right, you guys, we Let's just go. joined the virtual queue for Tron. It opened up at one o'clock and we got it. Boom, so 6.20 is gonna be our time. Right now it's one o'clock. It's gonna be like, like one o'clock in 10 seconds. So we are gonna go, I think, to another park and come back for our 6.20 time. So excited, this is gonna be so great. Ah! <laughs> it's funny because at one o'clock you started hearing people screaming yeah. all over because they got it. They so got on. Happy. Like those people. <laughs> they definitely got on. Alright, so stay tuned for our Tron ride and our Tron review. We're not gonna be able to video while we're on the ride. However, we'll give you everything. We'll give you everything up to it and afterwards, and then we'll tell you our review. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Alright. While we're waiting for our Tron ride, we decided to jump on the bus and skip over to the Animal Kingdom, try a little bit of food and a little bit of rides. I love Cali River Rapids is uh, gonna take us down the rapids and we're probably gonna get wet. Watch the step.
Okay, so we are headed back to Tron. I'll tell you why. Because originally our Tron callback time was going to 6.30. Yeah. Now it's 5.05. .05. So we have we go. adjusted our plan here at the Animal Kingdom. We were going to go eat at Tiffin's, um, just appetizers. But instead, we got Mickey bars. Emergency Mickey bars. Emergency Mickey bars. Going to check out the Otter Grotto because you know it's Ryan's favorite place in the whole Animal Kingdom. And then we're going to skedaddle out of here back to the Magic Kingdom to ride Tron. The whole reason we came. Cheers. Oh my gosh. While we were at the Auto Grotto, they moved our time up again, so we had to hightail it out of there. We are at Epcot. It's a little bit loud. We hope you can hear us. We made our way over here because it is food and flour and we wanted to try to eat. Ryan is obviously starving. <laughs> but we wanted to give you our review of Tron. Mm -hmm. So since you're chewing, want me to start? Right. Yeah, you can start. Absolutely. Hope you guys can hear us over this music. Yeah. Okay, so we did the virtual queue, which got us in. And we had to wait about an hour, which was the longest wait of the day. But it was honestly kind of worth it. We got down to it, the bikes that you sit on are really, really cool, and the start is so stupid fun. Just shoot up, I mean, I'm not gonna tell you any spoilers, but it's a really fun start. Uh, the actual ride was kind of short, mind you, but uh, in terms of like the theming and everything, nine out of 10. Okay, excellent. Okay, so my review is this. 
Um, it was a long wait, but that's okay. And they were, this is a soft opening, so they were working all the bugs out. I have to say that I really did like the ride mechanism. I thought it was very cool that you sat like a motorcycle and it came behind you. If you guys have ever ridden on Pandora, it was very similar to that. Yeah. Or even at Universal, if you've ridden on Hagrid's, yeah. um, it's similar to that if you're on the motorcycle. Um, I loved all the lighting. I thought it was very futuristic, very modern. And the, the queue line, the fact that we went around where people started, that was really, really was cool. cool. Um, I thought the beginning of the ride was excellent. I kept waiting for a big drop. Like the beginning of the ride definitely tickled my tummy. Um, but then as we got going, I was waiting for a big drop. I wanted to, my tummy to tickle again. Um, when you're in that actual, well, the ride when it starts and it goes outside, that was the most fun part for me. Then it goes inside and does a lot of twirling. And that was very cool. You could see the other roller coasters at the same time or the other cars, like there were like more than just one car in there doing its thing. Um, that was very cool. It was a little short and I will say that um, I don't think it's going to be a ride that I'm going to clamor to get on like Guardians of the Galaxy. Like I would almost like cut off my right pinky to go on Guardians of the Galaxy again and again and again. Um, I think I would go on Tron again. I would say it was it was Space Mountain-ish in terms of um, excitement, thrilling. It might end up being a classic that you go on just to go on, but it's not something I want to clamor to go on. So I'm going to give it about a seven and a half out of ten. All right. We hear you here first, folks. That was our honest review of Tron. I am so glad we got on, so glad we made it. Ryan and I are going to eat um, throughout Epcot, but if you like this vlog, please take a look at this one. You will absolutely enjoy when we rode Guardians for the first time. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.